Hello YouTube community. This is Martin from Martin's Model Shop bringing you the final on my 32 Ford Vicky custom built for my friend back home in Louisiana, Russell. He has this exact car and I've built it exactly like his his car is. I give you a spin around. You can check it out. There's a lot of custom work that I went into here. I chopped the top just like his car is. Uh, it's got a different motor in it from the kit. Uh, the kit had a small block motor in it or a flathead. This has got a 454 in it. Um, back of this kit, there was no door. His car has a door, so I scribed into the body line. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, uh, a, a hatch door like it, like it is. Uh, it, like I say, it's a 454 with two fours on a low rise manifold. I wired it, uh, as per the real call would be his hood, uh, has scoops that he had made on the side to actually fit the big block in and i don't know if you'll be able to catch them I'm trying to see um, handmade all of that out of styrene on both sides and underneath the car there's a lot of detail it's aluminum tubes for the musclers and and uh, actually the tailpipes the headers are uh, from another kit that I've put in there. Um, the mufflers are actually made out of wood covered with HVAC tape to simulate stainless steel uh, mufflers. The battery wires come from there and go all the way into the back cavity of the car because that's where his battery is. And I chopped the front headlight bars took them apart and lowered them because his car is, has them lowered. Uh, these are not the kit wheels. They're from uh, another kit that I bashed from it. Uh, the front end, he has independent suspension on the front of his car. So I made all of that because this kit comes with an I-beam suspension. Um, this full link in the back. Um, I made the springs out of plastic styrene from another model. I think the springs came from the 50 Oldsmobile and I cut them to fit this car. I put uh, some little round washers inside the back wheel and put the decals from for the rotors to be uh, drilled and slotted rotors. Took the running boards and sanded them down and just left the little chrome patch in the center because his car has that exact same thing uh, i made the msd box underneath the hood uh, chopped the plastic thing uh, for the windows to make them fit uh, you can't really tell the interior it's because it, of its chopped top but the kit seats were there, but he has high back seats in his car. So I actually made the high back seats uh, by adding plastic and using uh, body filler to build them out, to curve them to the seat. Uh, the interior is gray. And on the floor in the car, there's felt glued down in the bottom to make uh, the carpet in the car. Goes all the way back into the back compartment, just like his does. Um, I'll give you a shot of an actual picture of his car, which I have to get out for a second. This is his car. I helped him build this car from the scratch back home when I was in Louisiana before I moved to Texas. But this is his, the actual 
32 Vicky uh, fiberglass body. And I tried to duplicate the color as close. This picture does not show the color really well, uh, but it's cobalt, house of color, house of colors, cobalt blue. And this is the closest paint that I could get to it to, to make it that color. Uh, it will be put in the mail and sent to him. Uh, it was a tribute built built for him by me. Uh, he was he's my best friend back home. So I hope you enjoy this kit. Uh, it's kind of a difficult kit to fit. Not some of the pieces didn't fit well, but I just worked at it and made it made it work. There's a spin around again, just so you can get a good glimpse of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you do. As always, I, I love to see new subscribers. So... I guess that's that's about it for tonight. Um, but have a great evening, and God bless everybody in the community, and couldn't be nicer people to deal with. It's a great thing to do. I enjoyed thoroughly. So good evening, folks.